garage. I'm actually working on the uh, the controls. So section 39-2, um, you can see here, this is the, uh, the forward control. If I zoom out here a little bit, maybe you can see that a little better. Let me turn it sideways. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you have to align these holes up and you create, there's a little template in the back. You cut it out, make it into a ring is what I did. And I used a, uh, a punch to just mark each of the holes. Then I drilled them with a number 40 and then I fine drilled them to match this with a number 30. So uh, this one is now done and uh, ready for priming before I do the assembly. But uh, just wanted to show you that. I've also got the other piece already cut. Um, next I'll do that. And again, same process, make the little ring, uh, tap them and, uh, or punch them, just give them a mark, drill them out with, I think, uh, number 40 for that as well. And then final drill them number 30. The only thing that uh, I did find that was a little surprising, I wasn't quite sure, um, in the book, it talks about the safety wire hole, and it looks like in the picture it goes all the way through, so I'm guessing it does. So that's what I did here. It's a little further out than uh, wanted, but it's pretty close. So I have the hole there, and it's drilled all the way through to here. And if I look at uh, some of the pictures further along, it looks like it has to be that way because you got to run obviously the wire through it and then it's used to uh, to secure it so anyway it wasn't specifically called out per se in the book i mean it implies it through this uh through this diagram but uh it's not quite clear from this picture but anyway there it is have a great evening bye welcome back to the garage again it's uh thursday night and uh you know, while I was waiting for a couple of parts I needed to order in, uh, I decided to move forward with a couple of things, just kind of, I think I mentioned it before, I like to do the, uh, the priming in bulk, you know, get a bunch of parts to prime, because that way you do the cleanup once, it just makes it easier. So here I've got the, uh, the covers prepped, ready for priming. So I have all of those pieces ready. I also have, um, they're not here, you can't see them, but uh, there's wire covers that go here. They're little small covers. I've got those prepped. I've, of course, got the linkages in here for the, uh, for the rudder cables. Those are all ready to go and be primed. And then the other thing is, uh, and here's the, uh, here's the covers, as I mentioned. So they're all prepped, deburred, ready to go. And uh, I've started moving on to the control. And so here's the control pieces that are ready to go in the little spacer I had to build. So making some good progress again. Uh, and it feels, uh, feels pretty good. So uh, anyway, that's a quick update. And uh, I'll give you another update as the uh, week progresses. And hopefully, uh, like I said, I'll have another case where I'll get out and uh, get some priming done and finish that off. And like I mentioned before, I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the baggage door, but it's not really a priority right now. Really right now, I just wanna kinda of get most of the control pieces in place. Oh, and the other thing I did do is I started assembling some of these. So here's the torque tube for the, uh, for the flaps. That's all prepped, bolted together. Um, I couldn't finish these because I needed a bracket that didn't come in this kit. It's actually in the wing kit, but I ordered the fuselage kit first, so I had to go order those. It's not a big deal. So I'll get that done. And then, of course, uh, the connecting rods I've already prepped as well. So those are all set to go. So once I get the, uh, the priming done, I should be able to just go boom, boom, boom and uh, do a bunch of assembly, which uh, makes it feel pretty good because makes it look like you get a lot of progress very quickly. Anyway, there it is. Thanks. Have a great evening. Bye. Well, I've been busy. Uh, I haven't made a video in a little while, but uh, as you can see here, what I've been working on is the flap positioning. Uh, so putting the flap systems in required a little bit of tweaking. Uh, for instance, this hole right here wasn't quite big enough, so I had to enlarge it slightly. 
had to cut these brackets to the right size. Had to enlarge the hole in here a little tiny bit as well. And as meant well on this control arm here, I ended up taking some off the side here just to make it a little smoother. Still a little snug, but uh, seems to be going okay. So I've been working on that. The other thing I've been doing is uh, working on this right here. So the control arms. Messed it up a little bit, but I think it should be okay. By the way, those are really hard to drill through. Oh, there's a guest appearance by Jasper. Um, so, you know, I ended up going through a number of drill bits to get them done. Also, this distance is pretty critical. Um, I think I may have actually cut it down a little too much as I was trying to get the bushing in. And then, of course, you have to size uh, these bushings right here, these guys. So they go into it um, and they have to be about a sixteenth inch longer than, uh, than the tube here to act as a, as a bushing. So I've got all that done and really, you know, one of the reasons I've been distracted is looking at uh, moving this plane down to a hangar for a while, but uh, I think I'm going to just move it to a different garage. And you can see here I've already put in the arm for the control sticks. It's not permanently fixed yet, but just gives, kind of gives you an idea of, uh, of where those are going. And I've got the tubes done. So right now I'm kind of at a point where I really need to do a bunch of priming again. You'll see here the covers. I've got a number of pieces that need to be done. I've got the tubes that run back. And uh, I think that's probably gonna be my next, my next big thing here. Anyway. I just wanted to make sure I did a quick update. Oh, and the other thing I've done is uh, my baggage door. I was never happy with the fit. I've actually taken the back off and with the back off, it fits differently. Actually, it's very close. So I don't know if, uh, if I can salvage this or not. I may actually just get another one and make it, but it's very close. So uh, we'll see how that goes, but are still you know, that fits good. Well, not bad anyway, uh, but I really wanted it to fit better than that. We'll see where I go to with it. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye now. So it's Friday night and uh, I've made some progress. As you can see here, the control stick, I've got it in place. Um, this is not permanently attached yet, no cotter pins, and these haven't been uh, torqued down or anything like that. Just kind of put them in place to get it and check it and make sure it all fits well. Um, it was, you know, I ended up having to trim this piece down, uh, this piece right here, and get the bushing the right length. So that was, uh, that was a little, not tricky, but it required a little bit of work. And then, of course, the two sticks are attached. There's a rod down here that ties the two sticks together. Uh, I've got that put in place. And again, roughly estimating where it's at. Uh, but uh, that's a, yeah, it's a pretty exciting to get that in place. So the big thing now is going to be need to get some, uh, some more of the priming done so I can finish off a couple of the pieces that I need for putting in the, the actual tubes that go in here getting these primed up and then um, you know overall it's making progress just thought i'd take a minute here to just kind of walk around and show the progress on the plane i am going to move it to a different garage it's another garage that i have access to and uh, it will give me a little more room the uh, hanger I was going to get didn't work out, but that's okay. I think the new garage will make it uh, a lot easier to work on. In any case, I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, please subscribe and uh, make sure you give it a like. And as always, uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye now.